In this video, we will solve this problem right here. So we have 85 mils of a 2.5 molar solution, which is being diluted to 325 mils with water. A 125 mil portion of that solution is further diluted by adding 25 mils of water. We want to determine the final concentration of the portion sample. So first we'll take this line right here. We have 85.0 mils and we know that 1,000 mils is one liter. Further, we know that one liter would contain 2.5 moles, so 2.50 moles. Now this right here would give us 0 0.2125 moles. Now this is going to be diluted to 325 mils, but our total moles won't change, just the volume will. And so now we will go to the next line, a 125 mil portion of that solution, of the 325 mil solution. So we have a fraction. So we have 125 mils, and we also have 325 mils. This is our total volume. So our total volume was 325 mil. Now we're taking 125 mils of this right here, and we're gonna separate it out. We're gonna make it into a portion. By doing so, our moles will change. So we will multiply by 0 0.2125 moles. Now this right here would give us 0 0.0817 moles. So 0 0.0817 moles would be in our 125 mil portion. The leftover, essentially the 0 0.2125 minus this number, the leftover would be in the 250 mil portion the portion that we're discarding essentially. So just in our 125 mil portion, we have 0 0.0817 moles. Next, we have that solution is going to be diluted by adding 25 mils of water. We want to determine the final concentration of the portion sample, so we want to determine the molarity. So we have 0 0.0817 moles, and we will divide by total volume. So we had 125 mils, 125 mils, plus we're diluting it, so we're adding 25 more mils. Um, from here, we want this into be liters. We know that 1,000 mil would contain one liter. So we have moles over liter. And so this right here would give us 0 0.545, a capital M, for molarity. And that's all we need to do for this problem.